Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode five of Let's Try Suzerain, the itch.io version. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, let's see, we made it back to Bilo last time, and uh, I'm going to have to rest a bit. Let's not rest too much, though, right now. Let's go ahead and start by leveling up Lorelia. She gained 3 HP. Wow, 14 spell points. And we get to learn maybe some level 3 spells. She's got 9 spell points remaining. Multi-enchanted blade, transfer spell points. Absorbing bubble. Uh, mines, place hidden mines that are triggered. Cosmic blast, we've seen these. Lightning bolt, acid beam. Wall of force, spell drain. Lose the spell points, weaken defense, teleport, and creature summon two. All right, so what do we want to get for her? Um, there's a lot of good ones. And she's got a lot of spell points right now. She can cast some of them. Steel rain only stays at two to eight damage. The target area just gets bigger and bigger. Wall of Acidic Vapor sounds pretty nasty. 6 to 12, duration of 6. Um, Paralyzing Cloud, she's not really ready to cast that just yet. Disarm, then we have a Lightning Bolt. Range of 2, range of 4. Wow, 9 to 54, range 6, 32, yeah. Lightning Bolt would certainly be nasty. Um, transfer Spell Points, Multi-Enchanted Blades. Damage Bonus Increased by 10. Um, applied to any physical attack. Targeting Multiple. To hit two people, though, she'd have to spend 43. Um, weakened Defense has a slight uh, low chance, but she has enough MP to really, you know, cast it. Um, that would be pretty nasty. Um, let's see. She's got Magic Dart. She's got Creature Summon 1. She's got Lightning Strike. What does Lightning Strike go up to? 4 to 24. Less return for investment of points. Um, does, uh... One second, guys. Let's close this. I want to see Bulget spells. Does she have weakened defense? She doesn't. And it's a level 3 spell. Oh, she does have weakened defense. And she has the same means of casting it, so... Let's go ahead and load the autosave. Um, and let's rest a little bit. Um, she has weakened defense. So, we will try something else. Um... Wall of Force. The damage goes up here. The range is 10, which is nice. It's always at 10. The damage goes up higher according to the cost, as well as the duration. Characters attempting to pass through the wall will take damage. Last for four rounds, four to 16. Um. Stinging Beam of Acid. Mm. Attacks in a, in a line. What about good old-fashioned Lightning Bolt? She has Lightning Strike. Cosmic Blast has a huge cost, but it targets all enemies. She's not ready for that yet. Um, 
any level two spells we want. Heat Ray. Paralyzing Cloud. Right, she's not ready to cast that at all. Confuse. Mm. Electric Pulse. Pulse of Electrical Energy. We already have uh, a Wall of Acidic Vapor, 6 to 12. Two percent times the duration of the spell, so gain six percent more difficult to hit and target. Uh, you know, blindness any level ones really? Not quite. Um, leech has a range of one. Not quite what we're looking for. I'm not sure what to get. Uh, Kind of thinking about Wall of Force. Let's get... Let's get Wall of Force. That scales up pretty decently. I don't know, does it? 8 to 32? This thing does 8 to 32 at a much cheaper cost. Um, what is electric pulse? Um, let's maybe get wall of force. What's the range of spell drain? Five. She's not ready for that yet. She can lay a bunch of mines. Let's try Wall of Force. And she's got three spell points remaining. We'll also get... Also get electric pulse. I think that's a good trade-off. Boom. All right. Very good. Let's come into town here and uh, set the smith, actually. And see what we can do here. We have 602 gold. Okay, we have some stuff to get rid of. Um, how do I sell... Okay, we, that's how we sell. Okay. Uh, short sword. Short sword. Short sword. And what about these slate hoods? One defense. This has one defense and a movement penalty. So let's maybe give... Alzari on that. The slate cloak. Um, yeah, he'll go matching. Put that on, put the hood on. Sell the gray cloak. We're gonna have a lot of money after this, relatively speaking. Uh, oh yeah, the longbow. Right, let's give that as an upgrade. Put that on. Sell the hunting bow. The other hunting bow. The Viridian robe. Let's see what else that we can for sure sell. Slate cloak. Um, another hunting bow, bone dagger. She's using a broadsword, a russet robe, steel cap. Um, wow. Yeah, we can sell a steel cap. The coat. Two. Penalty minus one. Who could wear that? She's got a coat on. 
She could use these leather boots, though. Or could Bolgat use them? No. Lorelia could use them. Gray cloak. Gray cloak. Steel cap. Uh, leather gloves. Everybody has leather gloves, so we can sell the leather gloves. Uh, the gray cloak. Steel cap. We're over 1,200. Um, leather gloves. Hang on to the bone dagger for now. Hunting bow. Just sell that. Um, steel dagger. I think the bone dagger is actually better. Sell the steel dagger. Does anyone not have a four helmet? Oh yeah, I guess Elzarian doesn't. Put that on, get rid of the slate hood. And we have another one. Does anyone need it? No, everybody's got a Marauder Helm on. Sell it for 150. What about a padded shirt? Okay, I guess we'll give that to Elzarian. Or a coat. Let's give him a coat. Okay, we can end up selling the slate. Well, hang on to that in case we don't want the movement penalties. Um, steel cap. Heater shield. Short sword. Another slate cloak. Let's give that to Lorelia. Hunting bow we can sell. Broadsword. Um, scimitar. Gray cloak, steel cap, tarred shield. Wow, we have a ton of money. Oh my gosh, another slate hood. We'll give that to Lorelia. Padded shirt. Um, so the bone dagger, short sword. We'll keep a scimitar. Sell the short sword, sell the leather gloves. We'll keep a tarred shield. We'll keep that stuff. Um, broadsword. Defense two on the broadsword. On defense two on the scimitar. So we'll sell the extra broadsword. Keep this stuff and keep this stuff. Um, short sword's a little more accurate. We'll hang on to it, but we have plenty of uh, money now. So, hmm. It might make sense to buy a Warhammer. A blunt weapon slightly more effective than Iron Mace. That'd be an upgrade for Gahad. Um... Just to make sure. Yeah, he's got... Ma oh, hammers. He has 0%. Proficiency. That's not good. We'd have to get him a mace then. Or start him on hammers. We could start him on hammers. Um, saber. A very strong, thin-bladed sword. Very nice accuracy. Then there's pole arms. Both the pole and axe are made of steel. They're two-handed weapons. Throwing axes, small axes thrown such that they revolve once before striking. Longbow double bladed axe, two to twenty one, a heavy double bladed axe. Fur gloves, insulated gloves that keep the wearer warm. Oh, protection from cold. Huh. Riding boots, specially designed boots that increase the speed of ridden beasts. Wow. Um, she has protection from cold. Let's go ahead and get some uh, fur gloves. Let's give them to you. Wait, not yet. Let's look around first. Um, spiked maul. Two-handed melee, okay. So one-handed would be a war hammer, unless I got the iron mace. A heavy mace, slightly more capable than a short mace. Could essentially get him a war hammer. Um, 
Yeah, let's get him a Warhammer. We'll keep the maze just as backup. Yeah, he's not very good with it yet. He'll get there, though. Um, machete has a 75% accuracy short-bladed tool that can double as a weapon. Um, long sword, an extremely long sword. What's the difference between that and broad? Oh, one to eight. It's better than a short sword. Um, but Saber's one to 12 and, and more accurate. She's got 13% prof percent proficiency, proficiency with the broad sword. Let's get her a Saber. Why not? 13% proficiency. Wait. Okay, she's getting the same stats. Yeah, I mean, clerics or healers are not necessarily that great with, like, swords, but... What do we give the broadsword to? This is just a straight-up upgrade. So we can sell the sh well the short sword's a little more accurate we'll hang on to that but what about Lorelia? she's got a short sword yeah that's good and give her throwing knives too proficiency with ranged weapons and we could get her oh you don't have to reach you don't have to buy ammo Essentially, okay. That's good to know. Um, a staff, a spear. So she's got a saber. Um, essentially, sell the scimitar. Buy some fur gloves. One pair for you. One pair for Bulget. And I guess a pair for me. Me being Elzar. I mean, why not? We get the protection from cold. He needs boots. Um, these are two defense. Might as well give him those. We have 663 left. Um, I mean, really, she could use a saber all the same. Uh, wow, one to eight. Look how Massive these two-handed weapons are, though. We'll keep her with a short sword, I guess, and that would be pretty much everything. For right now, we could get more riding boots. Let's get a pair for Lorelia. All right, we're done. Return. Let's go ahead and save. We spent all of our money. Um, oh, I didn't save any for mercenaries or anything. I really should have. Or for a beast of burden. We have 400 gold. We cannot afford any of them. We have a cave cat. <laughs> uh, dang, that was a mistake. Let me go to the inn. Let's heal up. Um, rent a room upstairs and rest until tomorrow. You wake the next day refreshed. Did not take all our fatigue away. Let's try to hire mercenaries. All right, I want to go down and take out the, um, well, first let's leave. Let's save. I want to try to take out the, uh, down there at the cave, try to get Flencher to join us. So we're probably going to need a mercenary for that. An elf healer armed with a goblin dagger. Doesn't say what level he is, but he's the most expensive. A goblin archer armed with a hunting bow. Attack 2 to 11. Attack 2 to 9, but 111 spell points. 
a dwarf healer, and an orc archer armed with a longbow, 2 to 13. Versus 2 to 11, and way more health, 120 versus 20. But a defense of 1, 34 per day. Um, we cast Persuade. Persuade was unsuccessful. Let's go ahead. Okay, we could always remove them if need be. So let's do that. Um, let's head down. We have it upon a group of bear rats. Fairly simple. Okay. Shouldn't say fairly simple. They are very simple. Nasty. God. Lorelia. <laughs> Oh, the goblin is healing because he's outdoors, I guess. Um, nasty. Very nice. 30 XP. So can we take out... You know, the, the guards guarding Flencher, we'll see. I'm not 100% convinced that we can, but we can give it a try. If you want to see this dialogue, guys, then look in a previous episode. I've already gone through this. How do we do this again? Do we have to leave? Yep. All right. Let's go. They're probably... Wow, there's so many of them. They're probably going to insta-kill us anyway, but... Let me see. Let me come down here and work on these guys with the cave cat. Um... <laughs> yeah, they hit for... Huge damages. Um, magic Aura. Oh, I meant to pick a higher proficiency or a higher bonus with it. Six. Yeah, they're just very, very strong. Three attacks. Um, Lorelia. Oh, I forgot to leave a hand open for casting spells. Oops. Spells, creature summon, wall of force. Adjust the area by dragging it. Um, I don't know, right there. We can rotate it, cast it, wall of force. <laughs> We're going to need much more than that, though. Elzerian. Um, yeah, this is going to work. We'll get... Um, heal moderate wounds. Sort 12 HP. Uh, they're having a hard time hitting us. Oh, they were. <laughs> I love it. But it's not going to be enough. Um, Dang. 
dang. Pretty nasty spell. Wow, 39. Killed Bolget outright. I've got a boar adolescent. Yeah, they're still way too tough for us. But at least we know they're like super tough. So we're going to level up quite a bit more. Mercenary upkeep, 17 gold. Can I go ahead and remove him? Remove. Remove ally. Yeah. Um, let's rest a little bit down here. Not too worried about what's going to attack us, so. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's continue our exploits in this area. Let's get that free XP if we can. Boom. Oh, it doesn't count over the mountains. It's not just any... Uh, Fog of War, Gang of Ruffians. It's got to be legitimate Fog of War. Huh, that's funny. All right. We'll get, um, should probably heal the cat. Well, that works though. All right, let's move away. Take off the knives. She's taking damage, so go back down then and. Uh, that worked. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of damage. We'll get can't cast back up a little bit. Lorelia can't concentrate. Nice. Oh, neither can their cat. Boom. Might as well. All right. Oh, she can concentrate now. Uh, let's get another creature summon just to have them in the party afterwards. Adolescent boar. I wish there was an easier way to heal um, summons to know which ones need healing. Nasty. Got a bunch of stuff. All sellable. Another longbow. And 61 gold. And a young boar. 68 XP. Cool. All right. Um... Can't head back to Bruin Vale. Guess we can come up here and clear this way. Get all this nasty free XP. Wow. Okay.
Wow, Elzarian leveled up. 21 total HP. Go ahead and save. We'll eventually be tough enough to get Flincher out of that cave. Wow, look at all this XP. Gang of Ruffians. Stones, and we'll hit three targets. Nice. Mm. Defender has cover. Um, God is needed more up here. Oh. really actually is needed up here. Um, yeah, let's go to magic darts. Let's go. Five to 20. Wow. Absolutely nasty. Not much damage. Oh, I guess that I see how it works. That's the total damage. Not per, oh, can't concentrate. Not per target. Oh, we're having a hard time hitting anything. God. Nasty. All right. All right, how about another creature summon? Um, right there. We get, oh, what is that? Boar's a little confused. Uh, magic darts would be nasty. Not much damage. Mm. Oh man. What in the world? Why is that guy getting all those attacks? Wow, these bandits are tough. Oh, um, using all our magic, uh, lightning strike. Nasty. Come on, get up there. Guess we'll do another lightning strike. <laughs> Nasty. Love it. Should get a lot of gear. More throwing knives, slate stuff. Another longbow, shields. 90 gold. And a gray horse. Attack one to three. A fast animal that can be either ridden or used to carry loads. Oh. Nice. Hmm. 67 XP. Gahad leveled up again. 
Minus one spell point. That's interesting. Um, let's save. That's what the level up is. Ten more HP and an attribute. Um, go with brawn. Nasty. We'll rest just a little bit. And I guess we'll go to allies and select rider. God. Wow. Are you kidding? Gahan on a horse? How does that work? Oh, wow, he's just on a horse now. Riding along with us. Hmm. That is definitely different. Rest up a bit. I think we'll go north and go eventually northeast around the around that lake that we saw there. So we'll follow the river north. Um, yeah, go around Lake Rhyme this way maybe. Um, and get all that sweet XP. Have to rest. Glint of a red eye through a gap in the foliage is the only warning you have before you find yourself surrounded by a sleuth of hungry brown bears. Alright. Should give some good XP. Hmm. Oh. We'll get. Cast Magic Aura, Duration 6. <laughs> Kahad on a horse. Oh, wow, it gives him a lot more movement in combat. That is nasty, plus a 50% damage bonus being on horseback. That is crazy. And there goes our cave cat, Lorelia. Um... Oh, it shows the bonus right there. Magic Aura. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and do a lightning strike of... Five to thirty on you. Thirty! Oh my gosh. Nasty to the maximum degree. Oh, we better heal. Uh, homie right there. Still, no. Still got him. Wow. And he can attack again. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Let's always use spells. Let's get another creature summon in here. What is that thing? Absolutely nasty. We need to get more horses. Ooh, a scorpion. Attack 2 to 10. Movement 17. A large arthropod armed with a poisonous whip tail. Awesome. Wow. That horse is nuts. What is this? We retrieved... Go oh, wow. Look at that. We can actually carry this stuff now. Four animal parts. Oh, wait, to... To load. We'd have to dismount. Ridden animals can't carry loads. Uh, 
I'm gonna dismount and use them for a lo for loads. Because honestly, we'll make more money to get more horses that way. That is thick. Alright, let's come up north here. Follow the river north. I don't know what type of enemies we'll be running into up here, though. Probably save. <laughs> because I'm not zoomed in, I might miss something. Oh, a squeal erupts from the ground and a furry black mass rears up to attack. Horned rats. Should be pretty basic types of enemies. Our horse better not die. Oh, there goes our loads. Ah. Let's go with magic darts. Oh, ten killed that one. Oh, nasty. Oh, son. Alright, do we get some animal parts from that? Probably, yep. Horned rat horns. Mm -mm. Load them up. Load them up, move them out. 31 XP. Oh, more horned rats. Things are pretty big, actually. Oh, dang. It is so nasty to have them mounted, though. To have Gahad mounted. And these trees and stuff are cover. Nasty. Or no, yeah, he had cover. Or it had cover, the horned rat. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. 31 more XP. Easy XP. Huh. Right, let's come over this way. Man, I could do this all day. Group of hungry bears have taken advantage of your inattentiveness. Let's go. Wow, a lot of them. Let's come down here. Good, the horse knows not to get into much combat. It just kind of hangs out. I like that a lot. Oh, that hurt. Lorelia, um, I want some more magic darts. Let's cast them at max seven power. 
Boom, son. Nasty. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, Bulget. Don't hurt him, Bulget. All right. Four more bear pelts. Nasty. 76 XP and three level ups. Oh my gosh. Do we have time this episode to do them? We are 46 minutes in. We'll do that next time. More spells, more levels, more power. Awesome. Ton of fun so far. Hope you guys are enjoying as well. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your viewership. Hope you are enjoying the LT. Feel free to check out previous episodes if you'd like. And stay tuned for future ones. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, be well. Much love, peace, and joy. Until next time, bye-bye.